boxes. We live in a world of boxes and not just in architecture, but in our daily lives and ideas of each other. I'm a computer geek, so bear with me here. But in 10th grade, I took a class on circuit engineering. I even built a cool little robot named Zim and raced it in a competition. I know, I know, the secret nerdy life of a beauty YouTuber, quote unquote. But in that class, I learned about binaries. When writing in binary code, you use either zeros or ones. So Brie, how does this relate in any way to beauty in the real world? Well, from birth, we have gender binaries as man and woman. As I began to grow up, there became a binary of skin, dark or light. As I grew more, I didn't see how much binaries were affecting my everyday life. There's rich and poor, making it hard for middle-class teens to afford college and be eligible for scholarships. While a college degree has obvious advantages, as costs keep rising, many experts are now advising some students to think hard if a four-year degree is right for them. About 40% of full-time and 73% of part-time college students work. What is the, the meanest or worst thing anyone's ever called you? Soon, these common labels cluttered my mind. Every day I would just think, clean, dirty, deep, shallow, easy, difficult, good, bad, hot, cold, happy, sad, strong and weak, right and wrong. Most recently, it's either you're eating hot Cheetos every day or you're all green everything. I want to bring back the decimals in between the one and the zero. These decimals are called the journey. On social media, we emphasize a message of praising perfection or extreme imperfection. The imperfection can be entertainment to pass the time, and the perfection can be discouraging, unattainable, and sometimes just something most people can't reach. Folk in my face, I'm a superstar. Niggas hang around cause of who I are. Get a lot of love cause of what I got. Say they happy for me, but they really not. Sell a lot of records and I roll a Benz. Fall up in the spot, now I'm losing friends. All I want to do is give the world my heart. Many adolescents having to confront the daily realities of new age pressures. Younger, younger, smaller, lighter, thinner, tighter, thinner, softer. The problem is we're measuring our self-worth by how many people like what we're posting. So what's in between these extremes? You, me, everyone. My roots are black and I'm proud of my skin, honey. Proud of my skin. Currently, I'm looking for the happy medium in beauty and makeup. Makeup is such a relaxing passion of mine. There's chemicals everywhere. We as humans are made up of anywhere between 50 and 78% water, which decreases as we get a bit older. Water is a chemical. By making positive choices and cutting out certain products, many took my decision as a binary extreme, saying that if you're going to be anti-chemical, then you must cut out everything. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do, having a little Leave brain, me alone, we're damn having it. a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Good, this is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. But in reality, there's no such thing as anti-chemical. Our genetics have not changed drastically over the past few years or past few decades, and yet the health issues are rising every single day. But it's complicated because environmental toxins are in the world all around us. They're in the air that you're breathing right this moment. The furniture that we sit on, in our homes, in our schools, in our workplaces. They're in our pesticide-ridden food system, and they're in the products that we put on our skin. And that last category is the thing that really struck me, both my, my thought process and my imagination, because what you put on your skin is actually something that you can take control of, unlike some of these other things. In this culture of grab and go, we ignore so many details. There are things we don't read, things like the terms and conditions, labels on a lot of our products, the instruction manual to that thing you just bought. If you're anything like me, it's to save time and just for pure convenience. I also learned that life has balance. What you get today in convenience might make your life a little more difficult in the long run. The things I neglect today, I won't see, but over time, my actions compound. Massive action that is drastic is often harder to sustain, which is why most New Year's resolutions failed in February. The compound effect by Darren Hardy shows a small change consistently over time can scientifically lead to a huge result. 
with patience and consistency. I wanted to make a small change that I could personally commit to that I knew I wouldn't just back down from because I'm very passionate about the changes I've been making lately. Moderation here is key. I love a beat face with extravagant makeup, but a lot of cosmetic products contain iffy ingredients too, just like hair products and food and all these things in our world. So for companies they think consumers aren't looking too deeply, we can bamboozle them. Says non-toxic, but not so fast, according to our eco-expert. But it says it's non-toxic right on the front. <laughs> well, because no one's actually policing this term. They can do whatever they want with that label. Calling it non-toxic when it has an ingredient Environment Canada says is toxic. They tell us, we have had independent laboratories conduct a host of testing on our product as a whole to confirm that the complete formula is non-toxic because the word natural is totally unregulated. I was wondering, what are the ingredients that make it natural? It does not disclose specified ingredients information. However, if it's a medical necessity for this information, I uh, would be more than happy to work with your physician. Uh, the labeling, I think the cosmetics don't have to abide by the same labeling as drug facts labeling do, so they won't tell you the ingredients or all of the active ingredients and what percentage they come in. It's expected to pass a bill that would allow the FDA to regulate the $60 billion cosmetic industry. The measure would require labeling of all ingredients and prohibit chemicals linked to cancer and reproductive problems. It would also allow the agency to recall products containing them. So how big of a problem is this? Well, in February, the FDA conducted a study that found lead and more than 400 lipsticks on the market. And according to the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics, chemicals including dioxane and formaldehyde, a known carcinogen, can be found in some shampoo. Parabens, which have possible links to cancer, can be found in many deodorant and skincare products. Well, as you can imagine, cosmetic companies are not happy about possible regulation, and they've spent three and a half million dollars lobbying against the measure, saying it would curtail innovation and compromise trade. For events, tutorials, and photography, these products are amazing, highly pigmented. But truthfully, for my everyday beat, I can swap out for healthy, non-toxic alternatives. So, with that said, I hopped in my car and I hurried to my local organic markets. Speaking of binaries, this is where I put it. Foundation shade. If I had one, I think we're missing some decimals in between here in the shade range. Do you guys think the non-toxic market caters a bit more to a certain demographic? You be the judge on that. Would a doctor give someone one contact lens option simply because their eyes are blue? Then why do some companies give us only one to two foundation options simply because our skin is brown? After not much luck shade matching there, I found an amazing brand who I heard of for a few years but never really looked into and Jackpot. 45 shades. I hadn't really found a brand that got that diverse that wasn't in the general makeup realm. I found highlighters, I found powders, mascara, tinted foundation, and other products that I thought I could never find with so much pigment. Convinced I could find more offline, I hopped in my car and drove to a cool store that I found called Ivy Wild in Northwest DC that recently opened a few weeks ago. They carried a variety of non-toxic makeup brands and skincare that were all vegan and cruelty free. So a lot of drugstore brands that you'll find at mm -hmm. CVS and you know, Walmart, Target will greenwash and say that they're organic, plant-based, non-toxic, um, vegan sometimes, but because the FDA does not regulate the beauty industry, that means nothing. So whether or not those ingredients are clean, non-toxic, good for you, could be true, could not be true. So it's really good to do your research and make sure that you know none of these ingredients in these products that you use are harmful for you. Thank you so sure. much. is um, they make a lot of different eyebrow tints. Ooh. And um, what is this scent from? Is it like essential oils or? Just plants. It almost smells like tea. Yeah. yeah. I feel very natural when I'm wearing this brand. Hey, guys, do you see, and ladies, do you see, do you see this coverage? Literally. And this brand is plant-based as well, so you don't have to sacrifice your full coverage if you want. But if you want light coverage, that's available too. I'm amazed, I didn't know this was possible. Test it all out. I even did my makeup with the products I got 
and did a photo shoot. I found out that you don't really have to trade in the glow, even if you're doing some alternative products here and there. Well, an update on all my hair products. I, since my last video that you saw, have audited all my hair products and successfully traded them in for a lot more natural brands. If I want to use hairspray or a really crazy working edge control or something like that, I'll use it for special occasions when I choose. My experience is simply my experience. And that's just that. No one can take your experiences away from you. And there's a comment section full of hundreds of people that also had the same experiences of me, which made me feel a lot less alone. So I'm happy overall that my choice to do something a little healthier for myself has been so empowering. I will still create glam looks with a variety of products, but from now on, a disclaimer will be in my description box, noting that some of the products might not be the most natural products in the world, but I'll be using them because they created that look. And I feel like that's fair to my younger viewers and my more health conscious viewers just to give them the option to choose. As for extremes, I am not anti-chemical in any way, shape or form because that again is simply impossible to be. I support paying attention to your body and how it reacts to what you use. I support knowing what you're using from the first ingredient all the way down to the last. And I support choosing what works best for you, knowing what you know. Quote, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Maya Angelou. I feel more in control of my body now than ever, that I'm choosing what I decide to put on it, whether it has toxic chemicals or whether it's the purest of the pure, I know what's going on my body and that makes me happy. And I hope this empowers you to make a small positive change in your life, whatever that may be. And that's the naked truth behind beauty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Comment below what positive changes you'd love to make in your life. I'd love to hear them. Peace out and gang gang. Gang, gang, gang.